Hello, I'm Seeker97. Today I'm going to show you how to add backgrounds to your website in this episode of Dreamweaver Website Building. So that's like this dark plain background here. Uh, the gradient background here is actually an image. I'll be showing how to make images your background because it's a gradient going from dark grey to a light grey and as well as the colour for the footer. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is the main background. So that was that really dark grey which is the colour we set to the body so we need to go to our CSS styles find the body one and double click it and now we need to go to background and when it says change colour we're going to select colour so th oh, I'm going to choose 333 three, three, which is a nice dark grey click apply and it applies it to the whole of the background and you c it's obviously dark here because we haven't set a background for this so it's see through and it goes straight through to this background as well as the footer so that's the body done so now for my main background, so that is this bit here, uh, I've got a gradient here which is sized uh, width of 960 because that's how wide our content thing is and then height of a 10. Now why I put the height as 10 is because if you had it to like si the size of a screen or the size of our thing exactly then we will be a massive size and it will be hard to upload to server and plus we can repeat it which I'll be showing you later but basically it's just a gradient, you probably can't see it well but basically here it starts at a lightish grey and here it finishes as white so completely white zero 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 hashtag white so that's our background and we put it inside of the images folder of our local folder here so now we can get started in actually putting that onto here so to get that background onto this bit here we need to go to CSS styles and find content double click that go to background and then we need to go to background color leave that blank go to background image and click browse and then we need to go into our images folder and click background click apply and as you can see it's applied itself but sometimes the internet won't read this properly so what we need to do is keep go to background repeat and put background repeat repeat y so then it repeats it like that if we put this as x it won't repeat properly or repeat down it'll repeat across but because it's already filled the whole across it won't repeat it anymore but it won't repeat it downwards so we need to put repeat y and that's our background successfully added to our content so the last background we're going to do is our footer so we're going to go into css styles again click footer go to background and change the color to let's say this color here which is not dark, not, not lighter than this one, but not darker than this one. Click OK, and that's all our backgrounds done. Thanks for watching another episode of Dream of Website Building. Uh, in the next ones, next two, I believe, I'll be doing the images that go next to here. So these that you might have seen on the first preview video, as well as the little icon that appears next to the name in like a browser or something. So I'll be doing that in the next two or three tutorials or do tutorials of this series um, but if you did like this video please like it if you've got any more questions put them in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel as that really helps me a lot supports me and more subscribers means more people watching my videos so more purpose of doing them and yeah thanks for watching